Hi, I'm David Hill with New York Habitat. We are at the intersection of 23rd Street and 6th Avenue in Manhattan. Today we'll be taking the F train under the East River into Brooklyn, where we will be showing you a great neighborhood called Dumbo. So while we're on our way to Brooklyn, I thought I'd let you know that this will be the first of a two-part series on Dumbo, so make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you won't miss part two, which will be out in a few weeks. The name Dumbo is an acronym standing for Down Under the Manhattan Bridge Overpass, and it's tucked between the Brooklyn and Manhattan bridges. You can walk or cycle across either to get to Manhattan in as little as 10 minutes. The F and C trains stop here, and the 2-3 station, which will take you to Times Square, is just a little farther away at Clark Street in Brooklyn Heights. To cross the Brooklyn Bridge on foot to get to Manhattan from Dumbo, head to Washington Street. Here you'll find this underpass that will lead you up a stairway and bring you up onto the Brooklyn Bridge pedestrian walkway. You can't beat views from Dumbo. Here on the Fulton Ferry landing, you're practically underneath the Brooklyn Bridge, and you can see downtown skyscrapers like the Woolworth Building, as well as boats coming in and out of the harbor. For a special occasion, reserve a window side table here at the River Cafe. It's a Michelin starred restaurant where the food is as fine as the view. In the 19th century, the Fulton Ferry Landing was the busiest spot in Brooklyn. It was named after the boat that shuttled residents to Manhattan. In fact, it was the only way to get across the East River until the Brooklyn Bridge was opened in 1883. Next to the Fulton Ferry Landing is the beautiful Brooklyn Bridge Park. It opened in 2010 and is the first section of what will be an 85-acre waterfront park. These piers were all covered with abandoned warehouses just a few years ago. Now you'll find lawns and paths that are as beautifully landscaped as any in the city. In the months of July and August, this park transforms into an outdoor cinema. Pull up on a blanket, gaze out at the Statue of Liberty, you'll feel like you're in a movie while watching one. Of course, the best way to feel like a local in Brooklyn is to live like a local by renting a furnished apartment or vacation rental through New York Habitat. Whether you're returning to Brooklyn via the Brooklyn Bridge walkway or you're coming home from the outdoor cinema at the park, there's no better way to finish a long day out than to relax in your home away from home. These landmark buildings are the Tobacco Warehouse and Empire Stores. They were built in the 1870s to hold dry goods to be loaded onto ships. Imagine them buzzing with workers hauling down crates on pulleys and you'll get a sense of what the area was like in its heyday. It was a major hub of both shipping and manufacturing. 
All kinds of things were produced here in the 19th century, from beer to boxes to soap. In fact, Dumbo played such an important role in New York City commerce that it was designated a historic district in 2007. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this first part of our two-part series on Dumbo in Brooklyn. If you know of any places that we've missed in the video, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below. Be sure to visit our website at nyhabitat.com where you'll find great furnished apartments and vacation rentals throughout Manhattan, Brooklyn, and Queens. The only way to truly experience this amazing city is to live like a local in a furnished apartment. I'm David Hill with New York Habitat. We hope to see you soon in the Big Apple.